AMH value indicating the ovarian reserve in females differs in PCOS patients compared to that of the non-PCOS patients. So in PCOS patients, there will be multiple follicles which will be recruited and AMH is a hormone which is produced by the granulosa cells of these follicles. Hence, the AMH value will be higher in PCOS patients compared to that of the non-PCOS patients. So in patients with PCOS, the AMH is expected to be anything above 4. So, but the value when it is between 6, 8 or 9 is con sometimes considered to be okay and they can keep trying naturally. But PCOS patients have a condition called as anovulation because of which they might not conceive naturally and they might require help from the infertility consultant. Either it could be a small one with just injections and tablets or it could go up till IVF. But in IVF, as there are large number of follicles developing, there can be a condition called as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome in PCOS patients. But if the patient is able to conceive with just tablets and injections, it's well and good. Also, the PCOS patients, when the AMH level is more than 11 and the patient is not conceiving naturally despite all the other parameters being normal, in those patients, we can even consider laparoscopic ovarian drilling. So in this, it is a very simple procedure where we'll drill the ovaries and decrease the AMH value because of which the quality of the egg would be improved and they can conceive naturally.